It is always an honor to be the warm-up for Mark at convention. <laughs> I will say it's a little different this year being the warm-up for Mark and the presiding bishop. Working on this talk had me thinking a lot about the purpose of a warm-up band at a concert. The first responsibility is to show honor and gratitude to the main performers. This part is easy. Mark, you are a great husband, friend, and dad. And I might add, from your peers and from the presiding bishop himself, a damn good bishop. Yes. Bishop Curry, we love you as our family friend, of course, but we're also grateful for the joy and hope you bring to the whole Episcopal family. Thank you for being with us. Yay! Our particular music alliances. Mark and Hannah love old school country. Hannah, Sarah, Elizabeth, and I love show tunes, which, except for Hamilton, make Mark cringe. When we do agree, it is a big deal. And one band we all agree on is the Zach Brown Band. Zach Brown is from Georgia, and his band is rooted in southern rock, country, and gospel. This is not music that is particularly sophisticated or deep, but it is cheerful, it is poignant, it is fun. One of Elizabeth's favorite Zach Brown songs is a love song called Free, which she was playing one day in the car while we were on our way to the grocery store. She was singing with the refrain, which is a repetition of the phrase, we don't have a lot of money, we don't have a lot of money, and then, with a nod to the Beatles, Zach Brown sings, All We Need Is Love. I might have been a little crabby because I was pushed for time and we were going to the grocery store. I said out loud, Zach Brown, that is not true at all. Elizabeth stops singing, stunned by my snarkiness. She said, way to ruin a good love song, Mom. <laughs> and she was right. I was putting a whole lot of adult on my 15-year-old daughter who was loving a good love song. Zach Brown just covered a song from the movie The Greatest Showman called From Now On, written by a duo called Pasek and Paul. Check the plot line later if you haven't seen the movie, but this song communicates the Hugh Jackman character's urgency in starting life anew after seriously screwing up his life, being blinded by fame. Part of the lyrics go, from now on, what's waited till tomorrow starts tonight. Tonight. Let this promise in me start like an anthem in my heart. From now on, from now on. This song is a great cover for so many reasons. The writing, the fiddle, the banjo, the energy, the urgency, the determination to begin anew. When we lived in Louisville, Mark and I got the chance to go alone to a Zach Brown concert. We love concerts, and we're always excited to have a date night. The pitch was high before the warm-up band, as it always is before any live performance. We were so fired up. But after the first so-called notes of the opening band, I sat down deflated. They were terrible. Mark has always liked Southern Rock, so he didn't think they were quite as bad as I did, but we assured ourselves, it's okay, the real band is coming soon. Now, if I'm honest, I was already down on this band due to a signature item they were peddling with their merchandise. They were selling a revealing, very revealing pair 
of women's underwear with the band's logo imprinted on the front. And let me say, this was one teeny tiny logo. <laughs> I thought this underwear was sexist and crass, and it made me mad. I said to Mark, and Southerners wonder why people outside the South think Southerners got no sense. As merchandising goes, I kept thinking, really? Y'all must have come up with this while you were sitting at a bad dive bar because this is the worst branding I have ever seen. <clears throat> now, before you run to your phones and start searching Zach Brown warm-up band underwear, <laughs> let me tell you, I have already checked on the band's website and this underwear does not seem to still be available. Either they save that special item only for concerts, or maybe they've finally sobered up. The one thing I can say about this band is that they did their job. They fearlessly got up on stage, praised their heroes in the Zac Brown Band, and they played their guitars and banjos and sang their hearts out. They offered their best gifts along with some terrible ones, to a huge audience. And maybe it was just because we were all very relieved they were finished, but they did get us pumped up for Zach Bram. <laughs> In the same way, we Christians, we Diosuavans, must become urgent performers in our own lives and in the life of this diocese. This is a treacherous world, and Jesus tells us we do not have the luxury of waiting till somebody more talented, somebody with more money, somebody with more time, somebody with more fame to advocate for and love the many people trampled by injustice every minute of every day people of color, many women, people with disabilities, immigrants. We are all right here, right now, the singers, musicians, tech people, maybe even roadies of this warm-up band called to perform. The call of Jesus Christ is urgent and great. Love people, listen to each other's stories, and right wrongs. Even if we are off-key or undiscovered. Even if our merchandising decisions are terrible. Jesus says, it's okay, I get it. Sometimes we sit in a dive bar and make bad decisions. Now get on with it. Start tuning up, start singing, start banging on the drum. Proclaim the truths of justice and love for all people. I wrote in the first draft of this talk, shed your bad underwear. <laughs> but I realized that that wasn't exactly what I was wanting to say here. <clears throat> what I want to say is, it is never, ever too late to cast off the bad decisions, the bad behavior of the past, to begin a new, stellar performance of advocacy and love. I am not saying this will be easy. Canon Mark Furlow can tell you that a live show means sleepless nights, a sweaty brow, and vats of coffee. We are a complicated, imperfect bunch of performers who want to hold tight to our own songs. Jesus reminds us that the minute we are sure our concerns, our hardships, are the only ones that matter, we must open our eyes and look across the stage. People right beside us, people far away, are singing difficult ballads that we must hear. I see some of this in action many nights at our dinner table. Mark feels a lot of complaints from some of y'all. 
I want country. No, I want heavy metal. No, I want top 40. In collaboration with the presiding bishop, Mark and his stellar staff must ensure gospel. And they must make sure all the music plays. I cannot tell you the person or the group of people who most need your song of justice, mercy, and love. But I can tell you there is a vast audience way bigger than Madison Square Garden. An audience that begins right here in this room. An audience on our walk today. An audience in your families, in your places of work. And as soon as we listen, release our own tightly held songs, shed our bad underwear, and sing to the audiences that so desperately need us, we all become free. So today and this weekend, ask yourselves, how will I sing, play, dance for the people who need it? How will I be the voice for those whose voice is drowned out, drowned out by the evident cruelty of this world? Jesus, the Beatles, Zach Brown, and Elizabeth Berlacus are all right. All we need is love. Walk out on that stage fearlessly and let the Holy Spirit move you in ways you never thought possible. Sing, dance, stomp, move, change, love in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.